Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 playthrough video. Today, we are tackling the last of the vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 scenarios, Rainbow Summit. I just finished uh, watching Marcel Voss's tutorial video on how to beat this because I'm scared. <laughs> this is a really difficult scenario to beat. It's a lot like Fungus Woods, but with a lot of complications. So first, I'm going to get rid of this ridiculous waste of space. And I might remove this woody just because it's kind of obstructing a lot of this area I can work with close to the path. It's running parallel with the path and I don't like that, but that may not be a problem. So let's just try to get everyone over here out of here. Wow. Everyone starts this game in a foul mood. Look at their faces. <laughs> Maybe not everyone. There's a handful of smiley faces, but most of them seem, most of them seem upset. Tough crowd. This guy's furious, what the heck? Okay, so, objective. The objective to this park is identical to the objective of Fungus Woods, the scenario we just completed last week, which is to have 2,500 guests in the park at the end of year four with a park rating of 600. But as I said, and as Marcel Voss pointed out in his video, there are numerous complications in this park. For example, we cannot build over the tree height. So essentially, we cannot build anything higher than 35 feet ab uh, above the ground, wherever the ground is. So if it's on a hill, obviously I can build higher than, it's, than if it's on a flat space. Additionally, I can't advertise. So I have to generate all of my guests organically through the, uh, Marcel Voss called it the soft uh, guest cap, which essentially each ride attracts a certain number of guests to the park. And you can't really attract more guests than that. Or you can, it's just very slow. So to win this scenario, we're going to have to build a ridiculous number of rides, and quickly, because we're on a time limit, and we can't advertise. I probably would have lost last scenario if I hadn't advertised, so we have to play smarter in this scenario. Let's close all those. Is that everyone yet? I think I left some up here. Uh, there's a few stragglers. Come here, stragglers. Did I get everyone? Oh, I missed him, and I missed him. Okay, I think that's all of them. I wish there was a bulk guest moving tool, but I guess that would kind of unbalance the game. I'm hungry, he says with a big scowl. <laughs> All right, stragglers. No stragglers, wonderful. Let's get rid of this path. And the tram, I think I need to delete this tram too. Let's look at all the space that's blocked that I could be using, but I can't because the tram is in the way. So let's turn, th let's delete this. And good for us, we get to start with a little bit of extra cash. Let's turn this off, boom. Let's do that over here too. And let those guys just wander for eternity. <laughs> just kidding, come here mechanic. And purple shirt. Rashid H. Come on, fellas. Get off the path. That's right. No, mechanic. No. Turn around. Oh, I deleted one of my trees. Oh, ducks. Hold on. Hold on. Ducks. All right. Ducking accomplished. I am now motivated to destroy this scenario. Wonderful. Oh, no. We had a breakdown. Let's look at what we had to work with. All right, we have a lot of a lot of roller coasters to play around with. What about thrill rides? Very fun. Although I suspect some of these are going to be a little too tall for our height restriction. Okay, so we have a lot of rides to work with. I think we can actually build we can build these launched freefall rides underground and have the tower poke out through the ground. So that'll save a lot of space and also be kind of cool. <laughs> Let's look at what we should do first. Uh, we got rid of those rides that we didn't need. Let's see, what's the path layout? So we have one entrance. Oh, I'm gonna change this. This should be $20. And this should be a buck 20 for maps. Wonderful. Let's get a bathroom, charge 40 cents because capitalism and, oh, we have themed bathrooms. Whoops, that was a missed opportunity. Maybe sell hats. And check out my color selection. I switched over based on one of your suggestions to the developer build for the game. 
I was I was a little apprehensive because last time I updated the game, I really screwed it up. But I think we can get away with it. What color hat should we do? I I know I always ask that, but it's not like you can answer because you're watching this in post after I go edit after I edit and publish it. Let's do yellow hats. I like yellow. Cuddly toys. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think cuddly toys can be four dollars. You, sir, are slow! Go fix that. Oh no, he has to get the radio call again. <laughs> I think it would have been faster if I just left him. Okay, so we sold a cuddly toy. Okay, yeah, they're not going to pay that much for umbrellas. Of course he won't. Let's build some flat rides. Let's start with a twist. And we got a... Let's see how many flat rides we can cram into this flat space. Because I think roller coasters are a little more flexible in their structure, so we can build them over the hills. So we'll have this flat area be taken up by our flat rides. Flat area, flat rides. Seems fitting. And the Marcel Voss, in his video, recommended using some micro coasters. I want to challenge myself. I might, I might spam a couple of smaller roller coasters, but I don't want to use micro coasters. That just doesn't seem right for my style. Nothing wrong with doing it. It's just not how I normally play. Okay. Let's leave that tree there. I don't want to screw it up. The most beautiful park in the country. Of course it is. That's because the owner is the most beautiful person in the... <clears throat> anyway. Um, also, something really nice about this park is Marshall Voss pointed out that guests spawn with a minimum of $60, which is really refreshing because most of the pay-per-entry scenarios I've played in have a ridiculous uh, get guest spawn with like 40 or $45. It's super annoying. But here we have a little more leeway, so as hard as this scenario supposedly is, that is one thing we have going for us. Oops, I shouldn't do that. Let's leave it like there. All right. Where can we sneak this in? Because it's rather small. Oh, it's too tall. What if I build it underground? <laughs> Let's see if I can build it underground. No, it won't let me. I'm trying to shift drag down, but it's not working. Okay, fine. What about... Is this too tall? Oh, perfect. It's not too tall. But this is so small. Let's find a place we can sneak this in where it hardly takes any space. Like right here. And of course, I had the good sense to open it without connecting it to the path. <laughs> it looks like I have to get fancy with the paths here. There we go. Maximum of five people on the ride. Are people still coming or did I make it too expensive? Okay, they're still paying. That's good. Let's build a few more flat rides. Ooh, we got bumper cars. Can I sneak that in right here? I can, but the path's in the way. But I can move the path. Let's... Oh no, I killed my tree. Let's delete those paths and put it right there. All right. And I don't like this color, so let's change that to uh, red and yellow. Yeah, I like that. And what else? We have flying saucers. This is too similar to bumper cars, so I don't want it to be close to it. Let's put it somewhere else. Maybe over... We have this dead end over here. Let's put it here, because I could probably stick a smaller flat ride in there. Yeah. Oops. Get the other path type. Ooh, it's gonna rain. That means it's payday. Woo! Okay. Maybe we could put another spiral slide over here just because it's so tiny. Maybe? What, what, what else do we have? I don't wanna just do the same thing over and over again. Do we have any other two by two tile stuff? Oh, we can put a maze over here. Very flexible. This can take any shape we want. Not owned by the park, huh? Oh, it's going to make me delete the tree myself. Okay. 
delete that tree. Have a little dead end just to make it interesting. Ah, where am I? Okay. Boop. There we go. A little micro maze. Okay, let's think about roller coasters. Uh, what do we have? As I said, I don't want to make a micro coaster, but we can do something smallish. So let's make a few launched looping coasters. Can I stick one in here, maybe? Just a tiny little thing of a thing of a bobber. Maybe if I put it here. Oops, wrong button. Oh, that's too tall. Okay, in that case, let's try a corkscrew roller coaster. Uh, same basic idea. We can make this longer, actually, because of how long these trains are. Really big guest capacity. Holy smoke. Super long. Let's go over the path like so. And that makes me nervous. Oh look, <laughs> the train gets pushed out and then makes it over. And I have a bad feeling about this. Oh shoot, yep, yeah, that was not good. Okay then, it looks like we have to do something like this. <laughs> what, what even is this? This is not, this is gonna this is not gonna end well. Okay, I'm curious. Let's go launched without passing station. Dial this back to the minimum of 22. Let's see what happens. Oh, close! I saved it. What about this? What about with a little hill at the end? And crash. Okay, this is not going to work. So I think we have to just uh, maybe make this some kind of complete circuit roller coaster if I want to do that. Anyway, let's make a small little coaster over here. Yeah, I've got an idea. So this will corkscrew left and come back like so. Now, how long can we make this? Although I don't want to cut off all this space. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna change I'm gonna change tactics here. Let's build more flat rides because we need to save our flat space for flat rides. What am I doing? Let's do Ooh, I have this. Let's not do that. Let's do a cinema. Mouse tails, how lame. Uh sorry, Mickey Mouse, I didn't mean it like that. Wait, is that supposed to be Mickey Mouse? I never <laughs> it never occurred to me that that's poke that's like a, a off-brand Mickey Mouse. That's funny. Okay, people are hungry. Let's get some 250 burgers. Boom. Umbrellas are selling. Let's actually change the color of these umbrellas to something different. Let's go purple. And then the uh, souvenir style will leave those as red. More flat ride, please. We don't have... I don't think we built... Did we build one of these? Oh, yeah, I did. What about this? Is this too tall? Yeah, that's too tall. Darn it. What else can we do? Motion simulator. Let's finagle this land just slightly. And now I can sneak this into that little spot. Perfect. And set this to the most intense iteration. And a top spin, aka vomit machine. Where can we sneak this? I, I feel like all this open space, we should try to save it as long as we can. Oh, here's a spot. Right by our woody. Boom. 
Open that up. And what else? We only have a handful of gentle rides. Let's build a circus. Same basic idea. And a queue line that is way too long. <laughs> I didn't think that through. Uh, let's put TVs there. Okay. Well, what does that infinity thing mean? Oh! It's all of the scenery. That's cool. As I said, this is the developer build, not the normal version. Which supposedly is less stable than the normal version, but has a little more fun features and things, like the different paint colors. So I'll try to I'll try not to break it. <laughs> Cross our fingers, we don't break it. I suspect we could probably expand the park here because of these gentle slopes. But for now, I'm just going to use it as a place to put these. Why does this have to test? I mean, we all know everyone gets a bloody nose in there. Has anyone ever been in a cricket house? Like like a mirror house or those kinds of things? I think as a kid, I ran like full speed <laughs> into a mirror because I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a hall and I just hurt myself. The universal experience. <laughs> okay, I think I can do this. Let's do that. And let's mess up these nice little fences and that tree. There we go. Vomit machine! Speaking of which, I need some of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. And I probably need another mechanic. Okay. Can't get to the entrance. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot. I need to put a... Hold up. I gotta move that. Close. There we go. How do these actually work? Do you really get your wrists and your ankles strapped in and then get spun around? That sounds painful. But I'm pretty sure Chris Sawyer based most of these off of real rides somewhere in the world. So when he was doing his big roller coaster tour. Anyway. Yeah, I would never ride that. That looks painful. <laughs> I'm a big guy, but I'm not that big. So, and even for me, that yeah, that sounds painful. I think I can... No, 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 not, not escape hatch. Let me build custom design, and I'm pretty sure I can stick this underground. Aha! So that's as low as it'll go. Okay, that's as tall as we can make it. So let's... Uh, oh, I forgot to put a, an entrance on this. So let's leave this space right here for the paths to come up. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And now for the launch speed, let's turn this to the minimum and just uh, see what happens. Oh, there it is. Hello. Let's turn that up a little bit. Let's try again. A little more. Try again. Woo! A little more. Ah, that's too much. Okay. 27 it is. Perfect. Oops. And now, let's get some paths connecting to this. Actually, if I'm going to go through the hill anyway, I might as well do it here. And bring this down. And bring this down. Perfect. Let's do it again for the exit. And I probably should have put this in a different spot. Also, this looks funny. Let's do something else. The proper one. Uh, I think it'll be cheaper if I lift. There we go. Do that. And lower this one. Yeah, I should have done this different, but too late. That's how it's going to be. Boom. And we have a launched free fall. Open for business. And all this space I wasted. I could have put another flat ride in there. But hey, it's because of this flat ride. So whatever. Uh, let's color this uh, orange. And white. No, orange and black. How about that? Orange and black. Color scheme to black. And make the... There we go. I like that. Okay. And with that, we can probably turn the price of our park up to the maximum of 60. Let's see if we can do that. Or if we turn people away. 
Oh, they're paying. They be paying it. Wait, did someone just turn away? Or is that someone who is leaving on his own? Oh, I never built the queue line for bumper cars. Whoops. Silly me. Now they can do it. Okay. Wow, look at all the money we made. Just from entrance tickets while I was building flat rights. That's awesome. Okay, our, our interest rate is not bad. It's only 5%. That's pretty standard for, like, the basic or the, uh, the beginner parks. Maybe? Maybe this park isn't so difficult. But it's too early to say. Uh, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Yeah, this is very, very difficult. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's get some go-karts going. Right over the water. Oops, that's a path. Yeah, maybe this station or the Yeah, the the front here might be too short. I don't know if that'll How many how many cars do we get? Oh, that's fine. Let's go yellow and a slightly fancier Q line. I think I think this is dirt. A mud path, because it's raining. And let's put some scenery around this area that sticks out. Maybe... Oh! It's in the... Why is this in the sports area? That's weird. Sports theming. Okay, then. We get classical Roman theming. That's fun. But I don't have anything that's 4x4 four four aside from the mine theming. I could put, like, gardens here. This may be... Oh, that's not... That's not center. Let's put some trees here. And some flower beds. <laughs> I can build a flower bed. What? What the, What the heck? I've... Uh, let's just pretend that's... Let's look at it from this angle. <laughs> there we go. Much better. <laughs> that's so funky. More flower beds, please. Let's go with the different color. Boom! I don't like that color. Let's do... Purple flowers with yellow. Boop. Much better. I think these umbrella sails are doing a lot for us as well. And for some reason, they're not making any sound. Is that something with the developer build? Uh... Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. That's annoying. I like those little cha-ching sounds. It makes me feel gratified. <laughs> Uh, I don't see where that is. I assume to be under audio. Well, I probably showed you more than I meant to show you. Now you know all the audio things I'm using. Not that it matters. Let's go with another teeny tiny ride. What do I have this 2x2 again? That is not 2x2, two two, that's 3x3. Three three. Pretty sure I had another thrill ride that was 2x2. Two two. It might have just been this. Anyway, no key line for this one. This will just be mouse tails, or no, avenging aviators, whatever. Just to get people through the doors. Sixty bucks. It's roller coaster time, and I love woodies, so I'm gonna build a woody, even though we already have a woody. But who cares? Oh, look at all this flat space we have to work with that we're not using yet. Anyway. So we have this wooden roller coaster over here. Let's put this one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like we have articulated trains. Is that the only option? Yep. We can reverse these? Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's weird. One train. Two trains. And can we sneak over the... Nope, we can't. Shoot. So let's build this backwards. Like that. Here we go. And with the hill here, we can get taller. We can get really tall. Whew! Let's not go that tall. Although we do have a lot of money to work with.
Can I do a helix? I cannot. That's too bad. Okay, so we, we gotta work with the terrain here, so this is gonna be a terrain coaster. And I can't do that. Can I helix up? Oh, look at that. We can helix up. Perfect. So from 85 to 70 feet, that should be fine. And I can't do that, darn it. What about a small helix down like that? Little airtime pop. And right over the heads of our... Never mind this ground bubble. I can't do that. Can I helix here? No, I cannot. And that is too tall. Unless I do that. Let's go down and flatten. Steep. Oh, look at that. We just snuck right through our lift hill. Perfect. And just for just for funsies, let's go underground. How far can we go? Not that far. Okay, we can barely even go underground. That's annoying, that's a limitation. But we should have so much momentum we can easily go all the way up back, uh, back up to 30 feet. Where are we? I can't see through all the trees. Uh, see through vegetation, boop, wonderful. Okay, I'm pretty far from the station. This isn't very big, but eh, I don't. There really is no benefit to making it super big. After all, the objective is to get a lot of people into the park. So, okay, so this looks okay. I'm gonna miss. I'm not gonna be in the way of making a path here, so I feel comfortable coming out of the ground right there. Although I should keep going up though. It's now up to 25. Uh, let's not do that. We can put a flat right here. I don't want to waste that flat space. Did I put a photo section on this yet? I don't think I did. Let's put one right there. Uh, how do I bring this back to the station? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, can our parallel with it? Can we see here? Looks like here? Ah, uh, no. Let's not do that. Okay, from here, what we can do is S-Bend right, and Helix down. Let's do brakes first, so we don't have any nasty collisions. And then S-Bend back to the station. Eh, I forgot. I'm actually not level with the ground yet, darn it! Uh, ha -ha. What if we do it like this? I can't do that either. But I can do that. Can I straighten here? No, it's in the way. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, if I put brakes right here, then I think I can do this. Oh, I can put two brakes there. Okay, that works. This takes up a little more real estate than I meant to in the flat area, but it's all right. I do, I do have a lot of flat area over here I haven't touched yet, so we have plenty of room for additional flat rides to rack up the, to bring up the soft guest cap. Okay. Oh no! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I have to use this button. Darn it. Okay, back to freehand. And I failed to even test the darn thing. No, 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 come back, come back. I gotta turn up the lift hill speed first. Otherwise I'd have to wait for results from the second train. Speaking of which, what, what even is this color? I don't like this. Let's go yellow, the color of happiness. And for the supports, I do not like that.
I don't like this either. Okay, well now it's like chromatic. Um, these are fun. All these new colors. Ooh, I've never seen this color before. That's neat, but I feel like I need more than just one color. Purple it is! I like this! Okay. Very nice. And our test results are beautiful. Let's turn up the cost of our photos to what we always do, which is 350 I think you can charge 420 at 420 I never even realized that. When I play on multiplayer servers, it's always... Oh! Oh, I get it now. They don't charge 420 because that's the optimal price. They charge it because it's funny. Okay. Sometimes you just have to talk out loud and because there are things you just don't even realize. Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, well, I'm doing 350. That's that. So that's that. What else can we build that we haven't yet? Golf, I'm going to leave that for later when we have a little more security. When we're more certain that we're going to win. So this woody is going to attract, or no, each of these woodies, that's 105. So this is 210. So these two together attract 210. This is, what is this, 40? 60? I don't know. Let's just average 50. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 450, 500, 600. So I think our flat rides are drawing about 600 to the park. And yeah, that's about, that's exactly right, because we have two woodies, that's 200 plus 600, roughly, yeah. Okay. Oh, I failed to account for these. Yeah, but whatever. Thirsty! I forgot to buy drinks. What do we have? Oh, lots of options. Let's get some sodas. I have all these options, and I choose the one I always choose. <laughs> Let's go to 180, because this is a theme park, you have to pay extra. Actually, no, in a theme park, you'd probably pay $5 for that. I actually, I actually went on a date the other week with a beautiful girl, and we went to we went and watched the Dungeons and Dragons movie, and the drinks were six dollars a pop. Oh, I know that's a, a whole movie theater tradition thing now that that everything is way overpriced. But good glory, I offered like, hey, do you want to get drinks? She's like, sure. And then we go up to the thing. He's like, well, I can't back down now. <laughs> so I bought the darn drinks, for goodness sake. So overpriced. Let's go 250 on the chicken, just like the burgers. And do we have lemonade? I don't see lemonade. Oh, there it is. Let's go same price as the other drinks, 180. Perfect. Don't you love the merry-go-round music? This is the best. And look at our money! Holy smoke! Our entrance tickets, we're doing like... Oh, we're doing 10,000 plus a, a month now. Look at that. We have really... I did I feel like I'm winning the scenario on accident. Speaking of which, let me double check the wind conditions. Okay, yeah, so it is the same as Fungus Woods. That's what I remembered it being, I had to double check. So it's the same as Fungus Woods, so we have almost a thousand, and we're halfway through the first year. But I think the progress tends to snowball, so we progress faster the farther along we get, so I think we're on track. That's not nothing to be concerned about. Let's add more flat rides, just because we can do that. Can I put this underground? I may have to lower lower the land to do this. Let's, uh... Hold on, how tall is this? Okay, I don't know how tall it is. It doesn't say. I have to guess. Let's see where we can sneak this. Oh, let's put it right here. This will be funny. Yeah, let's put it right at the entrance. Um... Where do I want... Uh, I don't know. Let's put it over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I think that's the length of it. Is it five tiles? Oh, no. Perfect. Okay. I can't see nothing. Oh, no. I can't. No. I can't actually connect to the place I want. How do you do this? No. Okay. It looks like I'll have to move these pieces of land if I want to do that. So I just marred my landscape for nothing. <laughs> no! Wait, wait, wait. I thought I had it. 
Oh, it's working. It's working. It's just too tall. I have to hold shift and hover, and then it does it. But now I can't... Now I can't reach it. Darn it! Okay. We'll come back and fix that when I have money. But for now, let's build something else. Um... Observation tower. Let's build one of those. No. <laughs> it's too tall. How tall is Megatrex? Oops. Come back. How tall is Megatrex? Oh, look at that. I can do it. But is there... Am I missing scenery? Oh, I'm missing scenery. That's annoying. But hey, without it scenery, it's super cheap. So let's just do it. Um, this is pretty big. And I don't know how many guests this attracts to the park. But hey, we're here for the aesthetic. So I say let's do it. Oops, not scenery. See through vegetation. Okay, where's my... Okay, there's my station. So let's put this right up against the path. Bob. But I think... Am I able to get more trucks? Oh yeah, I'm allowed to get more trucks. So let's turn the weight dime down to five, since we have more trucks. And perfect. Let's go back to our rustic style paths. And let's extend the path into this a loop that goes around mega trucks. All right. Let's make another loop right here. And yeah, yeah. Let's put some more flat rides in here. Open for biz. Let's put a mini golf course in here, just for kicks, because it's pretty. A little teeny tiny golf course. Wonderful. And with that, let's open this. And what kind of scenery do I want? Let's, uh... So we have all these trees already, but let's do something different. Let's put hedges. Yeah, let's put these kind of hedges around it. Oops, wrong side. Like so. And this path is... Okay, it's going to be asymmetrical, but hey, that makes it look more organic, I guess. Oh no, the merry-go-round! No! Rest in peace, merry-go-round. You will be missed. Okay. And now for flowers. Let's go for variety here. Let's alternate these with uh, something else, but first I gotta see what I'm doing. And it's fixed. Good job, mechanic. And let's alternate these with um, this. Very pretty. Now that the hedges stop here, let's put some fences there. Like a brick. And let's continue the brick on the inside. This is something I never really did a whole lot when I played the game as a kid. I never really understood the scenery. Now it's kind of just relaxing to play around with it and experiment with it. Although I can't say, I have to be honest, I'm not very good at it. Or maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. You're probably going to tell me in the comments, You're crazy! You look so great! Eh, I, I'm not that good. Let's go with some phantoms. And where's the small flowers? Okay, there's our very aesthetic little golf course with a funky path thing going on here. Uh, what's next? Let's build another roller coaster because we only built one plus the one we already have. Something that doesn't have a height requirement. I'm pretty sure the mine ride does not. Yeah, look at it. The, it's got good stats and the tallest drop, does it say? Yeah, nine feet is the highest drop height. So it looks like there's no drop, there's no height requirement, so we can get away with uh, get away with some funky dimensions on this. Where should I build this? I just remembered this roller coaster doesn't have a lift hill. It powers itself, and when it's powering itself through a hill, it is tremendously slow. So let's not do that. That's basically a flat ride, a glorified flat ride. 
Um, let's build something. Let's build a corkscrew roller coaster. And let's put it over here. Ish. Yeah, let's put it over here. Ah, uh, shoot. There's a piece of land there. Shoot times two. I should probably do this from over here and work backwards. <laughs> and how long does this have to be to get the maximum train length? I can't see through these darn trees. Okay, that adds a car. And, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the optimal length. Oh, shoot. The edge of the park is right there. Okay, so let's delete that and make this a little bit longer at the front. Oops. Okay. So this will be the end of our roller coaster. Let's restart this. Okay, good. And let's have this be a roller coaster that launches out of the station. Oh no, don't launch. Doesn't launch because if it launches, we only get one train. Uh, let's put boosters here so it kind of launches. Turn that up to the maximum. And now, dive into the ground! Woo! Can I do this? Oh, dang it, I shouldn't have let go. No! That means I can't see it anymore. Oh, can I? Oh, no, that's just a land in front of it. Darn it! I wish the land editing thing was a little better in RCT2. That's one of my complaints. One of my gripes. And now the mistake has made it so I can't go underground in the tile in front of it. And to fix it, I have to do this. Ugh! No! Get out of the way, trees. Can I see it? No! There we go. What a mess! Oh, for goodness sake. Look, look what we did! We'll have to cover that with something. Oh my goodness. Back to, wait, 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 come back, come back. Back to editing. And I wonder if we have enough space in the ground, if we can go deep enough to have a loop. Or I guess we probably could if it was under a hill. Okay, so not there. Let's uh, straighten out, photo, and loop-de-loop. -loop. Not a corkscrew, darn it. Uh, loop. Still no room. Okay, we may have to be we have to do that out here. So let's uh, break those. Do I remember this? I do not. That's too bad. Airtime hops. That sounded particularly pathetic. <laughs> I just died. That was hilarious. Still no room for that. I think I did add the photo section, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. So here's the photo section. Okay, so now we should have room out here. And as we always do, let's go through the loops we made. See through vegetation. Are we lined up? Oh, we're lined up perfectly. Fancy that. Let's put some points of interest here. Do we have barrel rolls? Oh no, we don't. It's a it's a corkscrew, I forgot. Corkscrews don't get barrel rolls. Okay. And I think a train's going slow enough that never mind, I don't I don't feel comfortable with that. Let's uh, do this instead. Can we helix down? Oh, we can helix down, not one, no, damn, never mind, just once. <laughs> I was hoping we could do it twice. Yeah, we can only do it once, okay. In that case, let's go back down to the deep, into the depths. Okay, so now we're coming back to the station. And with 
this. Are we lined up? Oh, we're not quite. Okay, keep going up. Now we're lined up. Is that path in the way? Okay, it's not saying the, the path's in the way, it's saying I have to lower the ground. Aha! I think we're clear! Oh no! It's not gonna work! Shoot. Okay, back underground. <laughs> Maybe right here, I should have done is go steep. Like so. Oh, but now I'm not. Oh no, I'm not! I thought I was lined up outside. Okay, perfect. Oh, look how seamless that is! That is beautiful! And now I have a feeling we don't need the break because it's not even gonna make it up the hill. <laughs> let's break that and let's see what happens here. Yeah, that didn't make it. I don't want to put chains there. Let's put a booster there because it's a little bit faster than chains. Set that to a modest 18-ish. Uh, okay. And now, here goes nothing. <laughs> this will be fun. Follow main view. Woo! Through the nasty pit we made. I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, goodness. We took those loops a little fast. But, no, nah, that's not too bad. And up we go! And we get pushed along by that booster and back to the station. Wonderful. I don't think that's fast enough to cause a collision, so I think we're okay. So let's start uh, building some paths for this. Let's go fancy with green. Oh, look at that! We didn't quite pass seven excitement, but uh, whatever, that's fine. Too bad. And green for the exit as well. Okay, very nice. Let's open this, and did I set... Yep, same price to the park. We have 350 uh, photos for this. I like the color blue, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Of course, we don't really see it, it's on, mostly on the ground. Let's build something more visible, something more pleasing to the eye. Maybe a wild mouse. And I think the minimum drop height for wild mice, really, wild mouse roller coasters isn't particularly high, so we can get away with something short. Let's take this little spot. One, two, three, that's, never mind. I, I want to, I want a long a state a longer station so we have uh, the uh, so we have more trains more cars not trains I don't see any good spots to build this maybe over here I guess we could have a path go over the the the, the station oh no but then that thing's in the way um shoot I don't know where to put this. Yeah, let's not build a wild mouse. Let's do something else. Let's build a looper. Where should we put it? We could put it over here, but we need to extend the path first. So let's extend that path. Let's make this a little, a classier part of the park with a nicer path. How about that? Okay, so now we have a funky, very asymmetrical loop, and we can do a looping roller coaster out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's have this start right here and go underground. And how many trains do we get? Two trains, wonderful. So let's have this plunge into the darkness right off the bat. And can I put a loop in here? Oh, look at that. Right off the bat we have loops. And how do I go through the loops again? It's a, uh, I flatten out here 
Aha. Wonderful. And I think we can helix this. Except that's outside of the park, so never mind about that. Let's go wide here. Or not go wide. Let's keep that narrow, but make it start in a further out spot. There we go. And with that, lift hill time. Woohoo! And this needs to come out of the ground at some point, so let's, um... Okay, I was afraid I was spending, I was losing more for by deleting than I was spending. Um... That would be bad. Okay, so there's where we want to surface. So, oops, wrong button. Let's go steep. Let's do it again. And break this. Wrong button. There we go. Wonderful. And there we go, we have gotten out of the mountain. Am I wasting this zone, because it's mostly flat, by doing this? I don't know, let's just do what we're doing. Can I, nope, I cannot do that. Okay, um, in that case, let, can we helix here? Oh, we can, look at that. Or not. What if we helix up? Oh, look at that. We can helix up. And probably run out of speed. The amount of trash in my park. Uh-oh. Yeah, I forgot to put litter bins down. And I think the park rating affects how many guests you can draw to your park. Like, there's the soft guest cap, but you won't reach it unless your park rating is high enough. So I'm going to fix that real quick. What kind of bins do I get? Oh, I got the nice fancy ones. Not the cheapo plastic ones. I also forgot to put benches in the park, so I'll have to do that next. Oh, oh, lag spike. Don't crash. Okay. And we need benches as well, so let's put those here. I'm pretty sure it's space ring somewhere. Where did I put those? We need definitely need some... Where... Ah, here they are. Let's put benches over here, because this is one of the worst vomit producers in the game. And what was that notification I just missed? Oh, the circus broke down. Okay. Big deal. Okay, our park rating is almost maxed out. It's at 970. I suspect as soon as we finish placing these benches, it'll jump right up to 999. Oh boy, we have vandalism. Let's see if we can identify our vandal. Oh my goodness, there's three vandals. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Let's uh get some more of these guys since I got the cash for it and put one of you right there to deal with that problem. Oh, there's a lot of vandalism. That's not good. Oops, wrong button. Some here and here and here. Oh my goodness, this whole this whole strip is destroyed. I think we need to hire one. I think we need to uh, designate one of these guys to handle the entrance exclusively. Because this is bad. This is really bad. And his zone of coverage will stop here. Because I don't want him getting distracted on the stairs. So close that. And another guy will be in charge of the stairs and everything below the stairs. Oops, wrong button. Uh. No, that was the right button. Okay. Okay, so he gets the two tiles here that connect those. That's good. We'll extend this to here. Ah, let's give him this part. Why not? And I think those are the main places we need to cover, so I think we'll be okay for now. Oh, look, our park rating maxed out despite having all this vandalism. So let's fix that so we don't lose that nice uh, rating we just got. 
Okay, well I think that's solved, so let's get back to building our looper. Can we go down here? Oh, look at that, we can. Wonderful. Can I helix down? Oh, look at that. Nice little terrain coaster. And I cannot do that. That's too bad. But why am I allowed to do that? I'm confused. Uh, anyway, let's not do what we were doing. Actually, no, I do like that. But we could helix up, perhaps. And I can't do that. And what's the deal here? This is too tall? Well, I'm confused. Oh! I get it now. It's because I didn't do this. And this is too tall because there's a hill there. What if I go down? Nope, doesn't fix it. Okay, fine. Sneak right under there. Look at that. Oh my goodness, we have this big lift hill just to have a very tiny segment here. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's reconnect this to the station. And I think we are not lined up. So we, let's put some brakes here because I think we'll have a lot of speed built up at this point. And do this over here. Now have brakes. Or not. I was thinking I'll do a helix here. Yeah, I think that should be fine. This one brake here should slow it down. Okay, put the entrance underground. The exit above ground. Turn the lift hill speed up to maximum and test this bad boy. Loop underground, that's got to be terrifying. Although I guess if you can't see what's happening, if it's dark down there, it'll just feel like going up nonstop. But I imagine we would light the tunnels up, so no big deal. Woohoo! This really slow, slow spot. Slow spiral. That's the calm before the storm. That looks rough. Okay, and the brakes did catch it. That's good. Let's get a look at our stats. And, oh, not bad. We didn't we didn't exceed 7, which is a shame, but it's still good. And I guess the stats really don't matter that much. We failed to put a photo section anywhere on this. Darn it. Let's do that real quick. Do I have any redundant spots I can sneak one in? I don't think we do. Perhaps if we elongate this area. Oh, no, I can't. This has to go down like this. That's a shame. Perhaps, aha, here's a spot we can do it. Straight, photo section, helix up, and we'll leave that curved. Wonderful. Okay, problem solved. Let's open that. Or no, don't open. Let's uh, test that. While I... We're still sped up. While I build paths. With regular supports. Why is it not showing height marks on these? Let's... Uh, height marks on paths. Okay, one more. Down to zero. And now we need to change this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Here we go. 
Wonderful. Let's make this red. Okay, so now we can open this and we make a little bit of money from it. Wonderful. Let's look at this wooden roller coaster that the park came with. Does it have a photo section? It does not, so let's change that. And open up again. Okay, we are making a lot of money, so let's turn this loan down so we stop paying interest. I kind of forgot we had a loan. Um, it looks like our profit has gone down considerably. That might be because we're building roller coasters instead of flat rides, so it's a lot slower. So let's spam some more flat rides! Woo! The solution to all of our problems! And open that. And some flower beds. To flank the exit. Oh, oh, there's a tree in the way. Break that, and... Some boxed ones on the ends, and then we'll put some little things like this around it. Never mind, I can't even see those. Let's do this instead. There we go. Now it looks contained. And we still have vandalism. Unless that's old vandalism I missed. But our park rating's maxed out, so that's not a big deal. But uh, let's check for vandals again. No obvious ones. Let's try action so we can get everybody, not just who's thinking about something. Yeah, I think we don't have any vandals, so that must have been something I missed earlier. Oh, look at all the photos we're selling. Nice. Let's put some of those there. I never build lamps because they serve no purpose, but they're pretty. So let's put some lamps down. You know, never mind. That's, that's dumb. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, I already did, but no more. Um, let's build another... Now it's too complicated. Let's build... Do we have two of these already? Oh, good, we don't. This is the third one. Or the second one. I can't count. <laughs> I meant to say second. And open that up. And let's build another go-kart course. Um, how many of these do I get? Let's, uh, okay. Let's make this run parallel with the path. Like so. Oh, I don't want this to have the same layout as the other one. Let's go straight right along the path. So if any, if there are any bad drivers, they crash into people. Because that would be hilarious. Not the most exciting layout, but whatever. Um, put that there, put that there, and boom! I think I have mechanical theming, don't I? Oh, perfect! We have mechanical theming! So let's put tires around this track. Except where the paths are. Walk on the path at your own risk, people. <laughs> you make it. Someone may fly off the track and hit you. Not the track, the course. Or I guess it is a track, a racetrack. What am I saying? Okay. And the rest of those tiles, we can put little trees. Okay, we have almost half of the guests we need, and we're not halfway through the first year, so that's good. Oh, we got pirate theming. Pirate theming. I have no use for that. Not yet. Now that we have all of this money, let's fix the scenario. Let's fix, let's fix this situation, because this is a, this is embarrassing. Um, I cannot see down there. Okay, I guess I'll just have to do this. Look at all this money I'm wasting. And with that, I still can't see.
Oops, not that one. Well, that didn't help, did it? Now I just have this gaping hole in the ground. <laughs> Darn it! No! <laughs> okay. Okay, I, 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 I concede, I concede. No Ferris wheel in this park. No Ferris wheel. No Ferris... Okay, okay, for real. No Ferris wheel. I wonder if I could slip one of these down there. No, it's too big. Uh, a spiral slide, maybe? That'd be funny, just have a spiral slide floating out of the ground. Ah, it keeps turning visible again. I can't build it underground, it's too tall. Okay, pre pressing shift doesn't seem to help. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. Close that. Oh, for goodness sake. Never mind. Let's just say that this is a gold mine. Is this too tall? Oh, good, it's not too tall. Wait a minute. Above tree height? Where? Is it this? Well, it's letting me build it here. I'm confused. Oh, it's because it's that it's too tall above the ground level down there. Oh, for goodness sake. I really screwed this up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I can't even cover it because if I cover it, whatever's covering it is too tall. What the heck? Okay. <clears throat> That's embarrassing. Anyway, enough embarrassing blunders aside. Let's uh oops, which tile was that? That was uh that one. Okay. Let's flatten that like so. And flying saucers. Okay, we'll call it the Pit of Death. Has anyone seen, uh, what's it called? Um, Element Animation song, the, the, the funky Christmas song? Oh no, I forgot to put flowers there. Where you think it's like caroling a nice little Christmas song, but then it turns out they think Santa's a criminal. And then he actually is a criminal. Or no, it's not Santa, it's a Santa impersonator stealing everyone's presents. Super funny. Do I have any partial tile trees? Is this one? Oh, look at that. Cool. We'll just fill that spot in like that. What are we researching? Ooh, a thrill ride. By the 11th of July? That's in a month. Okay, so we don't get that for a while. Oh, we have flo a log flume. We could build one of those. But first, let's build another Crooked House. Bop. Okay. We're in July now. Let's see what it is. Oops, wrong tab. Enterprise! That is too tall! We can't use that! <laughs> no! Why do I laugh like that? I sound weird. Elevator. That's an insult to this scenario. It's like, oh, look at what you could have built if there wasn't a restriction. Ha <laughs> ha, in your face. I'm just going to console myself with pizza. Get your $2.50 pizza right here. And hot chocolate. Which doesn't go with pizza at all. Do we have any other souvenirs I'm missing? So we have the hats and the teddy bears. Oh, balloons. I don't think we built balloons yet. And with all these colors we have to choose from, let's do light purple. Very fun. Let's do more balloons somewhere else. Maybe some by the entrance. 
right there. And these ones can be the, uh, oops, not random. Nope. Red. Price is the same. That's good. Yep, there's the Enterprise. And I'm pretty sure I can't build it. Yep, I can't build it. Unless I build it in a pit. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I mean, I have I have the money to do it, but... Ah! Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Because I'm annoyed at this ridiculous pit we made over here. How many tiles is this? This is 4x4. Four four. So let's go... 4x4. Four four. Actually, I could salvage this, maybe. If the... No! Don't select it. That. If I can... It's not letting me do it. Here we go. Will that work? Oh no. It's not quite flat. So are this one. And this one. Oh, there's more of them. Any more? Okay, good. And now we might be able to stick an Enterprise down there. Oh no, I can't see well enough. No! Oh no, it's... I forgot! It's not about this height, it's relative to the height down there. Oh no! So it doesn't matter. Oh, for goodness sake. Why did I... Ugh, what a waste. Let's put this down there instead. That's <laughs> just this ball sticking out of the ground. That's hilarious. Okay then, well, that's embarrassing. What do we get here? Ooh, Storm Chasers, that's fun. Okay, time to build some paths underground. Let's go for green. And this will go straight once, and then go up so it doesn't come up ahead of the exit. This will be a really long line. Let's just say that this is like the the premiere of a new Avengers movie. This one will go straight up, unlike the previous one. Very good. Open that for business. Perfect. And I wonder if I can stick trees down there. Just little little funky trees underground. Oh, look at that! I can't. <laughs> no, not there, not there. Underground. This is hilarious. Oh! This is so funny. Uh, here we go. This is the end. No, 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 not there. Ah, for goodness sake. There we go. <laughs> that looks weird. It's almost like one of the Imperial... Not Imperial, one of the, the Trade Federation starships coming out of the ground in Star Wars 2. Anyway, I think we need another roller coaster. Uh, let's build. What should we build? Mm -hmm. Let's build something over the water. And I think anything with inversions bypasses the minimum drop height. So we can build a corkscrew roller coaster that takes up space out here if it has corkscrews in it. So let's put it right here so we can have the entrance going through there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that the. Nope. Eight? Still nope. Wow, ten? Ten cards? That's a lot. Anyway, let's boost this up to maximum speed. Or maybe not maximum. Because then we'll kill someone on the corkscrew. <laughs> booster, booster, drop. And quack, quack, quack. Oh, I can't do that. And as I thought, I can't do that. So I think the height out here is relative to the, the elevation of the land underwater, so we have to be careful. We have all this space, but we're basically working with the landscape, the terrain underwater. So... This will be tricky.
And now we're too tall. Well, that's easy to fix. It's uh, not that. Oh, no, it was that. This is the tab I wanted. Boop. Let's close that. And can I corkscrew over the thing? Nope, I can't. That's too tall. What if I S-bend? Let's do it again. Boop, boop. Oh, look at that. And I have a feeling we may not be going fast enough to make it through that. Never mind, that looks perfect. Alright. So let's bring back bring this back to the station, like so. And we should be slow enough that we don't need brakes at all. Alright, no lift hill, so I'm just gonna test it. And it looks like it's payday again. Woohoo! Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I, on second thought, I might need to have the brakes there after all. Because that looked a little fast coming through there. Yeah, we need brakes. That's annoying. Although, first, let's see what the stats are. Okay, not the best, but there's no stat penalties I can see. So, brakes. Set that to eh, 13. Or no, let's set this one to 18. 18, turn then 13 so we don't waste time on the on the going through the track super slow so we have two inversions and little mini drops okay wonderful let's open that up okay what's next let's build more fly rides what do we not have two of? We don't have two bumper cars. We have one here, so let's put the other one out. We don't have room for it. Let's put it on the water. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Sorry, duck. <laughs> I don't think the duck cares. I have to delete this. There we go. Oh wait, no, I didn't need to delete that one. I need to delete this one. Because I'm going around like that. Okay, I'll open that. Wonderful. Let's build. Let's build a hyper coaster. This will be fun, and make it go over. Yeah, we'll make it go over the mountain, really far over the mountain. This will be. This will be big, mega, super omega hyper coaster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, wrong direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Still no, not two trains. There we go. Okay. That's a problem. Okay. I have to go back this way. There we go. Haunted mansion cars for the... Okay. No, I'm not going to use those. Oh, 
Okay, 135 to 115, that should be just fine. Let's bring this underground so I have room for big drops and so on. Like that. Woo! Actually, can I do that again? Negative 10. Negative 30. Yep, that's the bottom of the bottom of the world. Go much further than that, I'll run into some mantle or something. <laughs> Okay. I can't do that. Can I do this? Nope. What about this? Okay, so these will be some pretty intense airtime, uh, negative G airtime spots because of we're going from 135 <laughs> to cresting hills at 65 and 45. So that's going to be really intense, but it sounds fun. It sounds perfectly safe. Oh, not scenery. Uh, see through vegetation, please. There we go. And we're far enough away from the wooden roller coaster that we're not going to crash into it. Okay, this spot's too low. Oh, I can do that. And photo section! I don't have room. Something I was wondering is since I am almost done with all of the normal vanilla RCT2 scenarios, with the exception of the quote-unquote real parks and other parks tabs, what would you like to see me do next? Should I buy Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and play through those, or do you want to see the expansions to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 first? Because I do own those. I haven't played through all of them, though. Uh, some of them are just get a little weird, and I kind of haven't done them. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments. What would you like to see next? Uh-oh. Okay. Time to remedy that. Let's have some more breaks. Like so. Wonderful. Okay, I think the max speed for this is... Okay, it's not per not very good, but six is alright. Um, bada bing, bada boom. And I think I will have to do this because there's a sloped area there. Perfect. Uh oh, we have vandalism, screwing up our lights. See, that's another reason to not build lamps, because they do they have no benefit to your park, like benches and trash cans do, but they can be broken by vandals, and that affects your park rating. So, that's annoying. Alright. Follow train one. And let's watch these vertical G's. Oh, that's not horrible. Woo! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did it stall there? Hold on. Height marks and tracks. So we went from 135 to 1 nut to 9. Okay, so this, this roller coaster loses a lot of momentum, it seems, as it progresses through the track. So I wonder if I build this a little taller. Uh, if I can get away with that. Okay. Let's do this.
Okay, a lot of these are too low, so I'm not sure which one is going to be the one that fixes it. Let's just do this. Make all of them go up. No, no, no. Why is it not doing it? Aha! There we go. That was expensive. Goodness. And it's still too low. Oh, I see. It's this little cliff we created. There we go. Perfect. Mega trucks still hasn't been fixed. Where are the mechanics? Oh! I think we need more mechanics. Okay. Now let's test it. And now that we have more height here, it's going to take this turn with more speed, and it may be too rough. So I may have to slow this down somewhat. Oh, that wasn't horrible. It was more than two, which is more than I like, but it wasn't in the red, so... So far, we've survived. Much better! I was worried it would be taken... I, I was worried it would take these helixes really fast, and that would be rough. I didn't realize it'd be so slow in this part. All oh, right, perfect. Let's get our stats back. Not bad. Okay, then. Well, that'll attract more people to the park. What's the stats on the original Woody we have? Holy! Those are good stats. Okay, I was going to say this is the best, but this the, the old Woody that came at the park is the best. Wow, this is making a lot of money. With ride photos. Ooh, ooh! We, can, we have t-shirts! That's a great little source of extra money. Let's change this to, what was the max, $5? I don't remember. Okay, we sold one. Let's make these a light blue. Or no, let's make it uh, orange. Nah, let's not do that. How about green? They are selling, and no one's giving a second thought about them, so... Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we have more than half of the required guests for the park, but we're almost halfway through year three, so let's slow down and build some more roller coasters. Uh-oh. I may have to bite the bullet and start building micro coasters. I'd rather not, but I may have, I may have no choice. This park may have been designed with that with that uh, requirement in mind. Yeah, basically the micro coaster looks like this. You have a corkscrew that does that. Boop! Entrance and exit. And this, with the uh, launch turned to the minimum of 22, will not fall off the track. It goes up like that and comes back. And because the inversion bypasses the minimum drop requirements, you get decent stats. So right there, this is another hundred or so guests attracted to the park because of the soft guest cap, and it's a corkscrew. So I do several of those, and I basically win. But that seems kind of... I don't know. To me, it seems cheaty, but it, it's a perfectly legitimate strategy. I just want to see if I can win without doing it. Maybe if I do micro coasters, but they're all different kinds of roller coasters. So let's do a micro hairpin coaster. And find a place to put it. Let's put it right here. I'm not sure what the minimum drop height is for this, so let's uh, experiment. This should be two cars or three cars? Yeah, three cars. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. Yep, we missed one of the requirements. So let's make this a little bit taller. Okay, maybe a lot taller. <laughs> let's go to 30 feet. And with that, we probably have to add brakes here so it isn't uh, too rough around that turn. Let's go brakes. 18 is probably fine. Woo! 
Oh, it's still bad. Hold on. Is there a minimum number of drops required? Maybe that's what's going on here. Let's uh build this out. <laughs> this way, we're just building a, a regular hairpin coaster. <laughs> Oh no, I can't do that. Let's re bring our brakes back. Now let's see what happens. Woo! So there's two drops. And, oh, it's still terrible. Something's not right here. There might be a minimum negative G requirement. So let's change this again. And we can't build out here, darn it. Hello, duck. Let me quack you. All right. Okay, let's try this, because, I mean, I couldn't really build much higher than that. How tall is this? This is, uh, 35 feet tall, and I think the maximum height is, like, well, I guess in the Wild Mouse, though, the minimum height is a little bit lower than the hairpin, but, okay. So we, we fixed at least one of our minimum requirements, but that's good enough. We'll just say this is a medium intensity ride. The best gentle rides. Thank you. So that's not quite a micro coaster, but it's basically a, a micro coaster, kind of that general idea. Um, but wild mouse roller coasters or hairpin type coasters, I don't think they uh, draw a lot of guests to the park. I mean, they do more than flat rides do, but the amount of time it takes to build them, I'm not sure if that really pays itself off that well. But no matter, let's build a wild mouse somewhere, right in here. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, darn it, I can't do that. I assumed I could do that. Now for some funky landscaping. Boop. Boop. 45 is surely sufficiently tall. Okay, let's get some length in this. A little switchback area, like we always do. Is there a, a correct technical term for this? Because I always just call it the switchback area, but or the switchback section. But I'm not sure if there's actual an actual technical term for it. Well, this is a nice little a nice little wild mouse. Look at this. This is beautiful. Let's make this... Oops, I delete, didn't mean to do that. Let's add some brakes right there and test this bad boy. Uh-oh, I don't want this. Look at all this money we wasted. All right, very good, very good. Some pretty good stats. Our park rating is maxed out still. We have no loan, we have a huge surplus of cash and not enough guests and we're running out of time. So, <laughs> I don't want to mail micro coasters. Okay, where's the corkscrew? Um, let's build, what did I name my personal one that I, that I... Okay, here's yeah, here's one I saved. That's one of my designs. Cobra is not one of mine. Speedy 
spitting cobra. This is the one I designed, but obviously it's way too big. What's the drop height for the, for the, blah, 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 for the Virginia reel? I'm not sure, but I assume the minimum requirements are pretty easy to reach, so let's build one. Right here. Uh, not right there. Let's uh, build it right here. Starting 10 feet off the ground. Actually, that's not going to work. Um, here we go. Now for some happy fun spots. Okay, look at that. We just snuck right through that sloped spot. Lovely. Okay. And I had to move it back so I had room to make the entrance path. Let's turn this up and test it out. Turn the minimum time off. Oops. Come back. Oh, sorry, Mr. Lemonade Dude. Oh, uh, where are you going? Get out of there. <laughs> okay, these stats are nothing to be proud of, but whatever, it's another roller coaster. It draws more people to the park. It is a gentle ride of sorts for people with the, uh, softer stomachs. Let's build another smaller flat ride over here. I don't have room for this, but perhaps if I... Nah, let's not do that. Let's do this. Here we go. No entrance, or no queue line. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, what else can we cram in here? Bop. And then this has a queue line of sorts. You just have to go through the entrance, the blah, blah, the exit to get to it. Let's make this one the intense one as well. Okay. So these tall rides, by nature, we cannot... Not this one. Uh, like this one and this one. We cannot build them at all, no matter what we do. Because they are too tall to build underground. And lowering the land doesn't help, because the height isn't re uh, relative to the, uh, the normal flat areas of the park, but it's relative to the land it's built on. So if you build a pit, it's too tall for the bottom of the pit. Which is really silly. Or I guess it makes sense. It's part of the part of what makes this scenario difficult, but uh, let's mow the grass. But yeah, that's super annoying. Oops, didn't mean to select that. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm doing, this is a cheeky little trick to mow the grass. There we go, brand new. So instead of selecting one of my handymen and giving him the job of mowing the lawns, I can just reset it. And in a park where you have like a hundred handymen, that can be really tedious going through one by one and turning that on. So, anyway. Oh, we have more flat space here. Let's put another flat right here. Uh, another one of these ought to do it. Wonderful. And another something that has a small, <coughs> running out of breath, something with a small footprint. Let's just do another one right next to it. Why not? Okay, 
that's not a good spot for that. Let's put this over here. Can I sneak it under this? Oh, well, I can't. I can sneak it over here, though. Nice. Okay. Uh oh. There goes the merry-go-round. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Alright. What else can we do? Let's, um. Ah, let's build a mine train. Since height doesn't seem to be a big deal with it. I don't have anywhere to put it. First, let's build a path over the water. And there we go, it got fixed. Good job, mechanic. Actually, I'm going to leave that there because I don't want to confuse the guests walking through here, so... There we go. Only one way to go through there. Let's extend this some more. I wonder if I can go under that. Probably not, but I want to try it. Oops, not like that. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, it looks like we can't go through there. But we can go over the woody. So let's uh, do that. I misaligned it by mistake. Hey, whoops. Okay. So now we have an access point to the rest of this area. Let's actually make this bigger. Like so. Sorry if I sound a little tired today. I uh, went to the gym and I did legs and upper body. Because... <laughs> Yeah, that was smart. <laughs> so I'm kind of exhausted, and my voice is shot. Uh, we I played a game of a uh, bang, the card game bang, with my cousins yesterday, and we had some pretty hilarious uh, runs. For anyone who's played bang, it's basically a Wild West style mafia game, where different uh, there's different uh, types of uh, how do I say this. There's different roles that you might randomly receive. You could be the sheriff, you could be a deputy to the sheriff, you could be an outlaw, or you could be the renegade. And each of those different, uh, each of those has a different task to win. So the renegade wins by being the last man standing and killing the sheriff last. The outlaws win by killing the sheriff, so you could say their job is the easiest. Although, the renegade and the deputies and the sheriff go after them when they reveal themselves. So they try to conceal their identity until they decide to go all, all out on the sheriff. Which could backfire terribly if they do it wrong. Um, sheriff wins by killing the outlaws. And same with the deputies. The deputy's job is to help the sheriff. So, I can't see what I'm doing. And I can't build there. How do I... Okay, it looks like I've really closed myself off. I cannot get through this. Or can I? Can I go through here? <laughs> I've completely blocked myself in. No! Oh well. Anyway, what I was saying was we had a pretty some pretty funny rounds of bang. We were at my grandpa's birthday party. This is why we were playing games with cousins and such. But yeah, lots of shouting, lots of laughing, so my voice is pretty tired. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, there's only one way to get into this loop. So let's extend this over here. And connect it right here. And there's more vandalism, what the heck? Thoughts, uh, actions. 
I don't see any vandals, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Okay, now to build a compact mine train. Where is it? Aha! Okay, the train's not very big, but that's alright. Do we get photos? Oh, we do! Look at that! Photo section... Not sure what I was going for there. Okay, it says it's in the way, but that should be a 10. For oh, there we go. I was looking at positive 5, positive 5 plus negative 5 feet, and that should have been fine. And it was fine, I just was failing to read it correctly. Oh, no, no, no. Come back. Get quacked! Ah! Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm serene. And with that, how many laps? Let's go two laps. Let's test that while we build out our entry. Well, that finishes testing. Let's build something else. Let's build uh, one of these. Probably has minimal drop requirements, so that'll be good. And that was dumb. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. I saw it there, and I still did that. Um. There we go. And it looks like we need to do this. And this. Good stats in the mine train, that's good. What's the deal here? Um, oh, it's too tall. And so is this. Oh shoot! No! Okay. What if we s bent first? What am I not seeing here? Okay, there we go. I was afraid of that. That's a uh, helix instead. There we go. And that should absorb most of the speed out of our train, so we can just go right back to the station. Actually, I may only have one train anyway. Oh yeah, I have one train. Never mind. <laughs> no biggie. No biggie. Uh-oh. Turn that up. And test. Gosh, I'm so tired. I'm like so silent. Normally I'm more lively. More spunky. But today, not really. <laughs> if there is a minimum drop height in this, I probably missed it by a lot. So, hey, this really will be a junior roller coaster. Oh, never mind. It looks like I did it. Not bad stats. Let's open that. Okay, so we are not quite to 2,000 guests, and we're almost to the end of year three. We're halfway through. So, we gotta pick up the pace here. 
I've been resisting the micro coasters, but I may have to. Oh, here's an idea. I could do a micro coaster that is basically just a reverse shuttle thing. Um, it's basically the corkscrew, but it comes out the back first because I don't think these can launch. Where do I have room for this? Uh, here's a spot. I'm out the back like so. Let's delete these. I thought I would need these, but I don't. There we go. So from here to the front. Okay, let's see what this does. Reverse incline shuttle mode. Did I put chains on these? Oh, good. I was afraid I didn't for a second. These might just fly off the rails and die. <laughs> Woo! That gets three trains. Oh, that was pathetic. <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> okay. Let's build this. Let's... Oh, no, no, don't... Oh, dang it. Now it's going to be more expensive to remove everything. Oh, screw it. Let's put the station up here. Give a little more room. And corkscrew left. Oh, I can't do that, darn it. Corkscrew left. Not twist. Parks group. It's in, the exact, it's in the exact same place as the first time. Okay, it looks like I have to move the path a little bit. I'll edit that in a moment. This is probably too tall. these and put the path back. Okay, now let's see what happens. Oh, right, right, right. Let's actually see what happens in the blue mode first. There goes the merry-go-round. That has me nervous. So instead of having this, let's uh, maybe do that. So it has less vertical height to start with. There we go. I feel comfortable with that. Yeah, let's open that. Although, I missed an opportunity. I could have put a photo section on this. So let's do that first. Boop. Photo section. Of course, go left, and I have to change the path again. <laughs> the things I do to myself. Oh, I should have put a photo section on the corkscrew roller coaster I built. Okay, well that's open now. Let's uh, find that corkscrew and put a photo section on it. Favorite ride of 24 people. Fools, this should not be your favorite ride. This is a charlatan machine. <laughs> Go upside down for like a half second and get your picture taken. Whoop de doo. <laughs> okay, so those are both micro coasters. Let's save this real quick, actually. I should probably put this in my pocket as a potentially useful uh, thing. Cheeky, cheesy, moneymaker. Mailer, moneymaker. Cheeky cheesy moneymaker. <laughs> what a name. Let's build a couple more of those. And it's right at the top. Perfect. Oh, I have room for it out here. Pop. Pop. Let's open that one. Let's put another one somewhere. Do I have room for it over here? Ah, oh, the ground's too low, darn it. Let's uh, do this. Now to let me do it. No, no, come back. I lost it. Oh, I fixed it. Perfect. I probably should have changed the colors before I saved that. Darn it. I'll override it later. Anyway. Um, 
Do we have any new flat rides I missed? So we have new trains for the haunted ride for this one, but I'm not planning to build any of those. Let's build a spiral slide right here. Pop. And now what can we fit in that little space back there? Yeah, another space rings, why not? The prime place to vomit, I say. Okay, well we almost have 2,000 guests, so that's good. We seem to have a strong influx of people to the park. Probably because of those micro coasters, because each one draws about 100 people to the park. And I've built, what is it, four of them? I have the original one, two more, and then one that's inverted, just to, for the sake of variety. So, I wonder what other things we can turn into micro coasters. A micro looper? Oh no, that's right, we can't we can't build loops unless they're underground. Uh, let's build a bobsled coaster. These are always very fun to look at. And I don't know if height will be a big deal for this. Oh, these ones are trains. Seven cars per train. Oh, that'll be interesting. That'll make hills really difficult. Because if there's a crest to the hill, the momentum of the back trains will push the front trains off the track and make it fly off the track. Uh, it looks like we're not going to have any hills. It's just going to be drops and helixes. Although we can helix up, now that I think of it. Uh oh, can't do that. But I can do this. Can't do that. Maybe if I just turn, will I? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's. I don't think lateral G's will be a problem here. I'm worried about flying off the track. But it is slow enough; it shouldn't be a problem. So let's S bend. Oh, oh my! That almost flew off. I don't even know if it can fly off sideways though, so I'm just going to roll with it and see what happens. If this falls apart, that'll be hilarious. Let's turn up the lift hill speed. Open up for business. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so the, the helixes, or curving the track, seems to be beneficial for keeping the trains from flying off the track, more so than it has to do with lateral G. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> My goodness! But I had to snake, I had to snake through there somehow. Maybe, hold on, let me put brakes on this. Does this have brakes? I don't recall. It does have brakes. So let's, uh... Curve this, because we can, and put brakes right here, and slow that to 18. Actually, no, it might be going 18 already, let's do 13. And I deleted those for no reason again, I could have just changed it like that. Okay, up you go, and... Okay, it's still a little sketchy, but it's not. I'm not quite as worried as I was. Now, stat penalties. Do we get any stat penalties? Oh my goodness, we got horrible stat penalties. Whatever, it's what it... <laughs> I'm not concerned about it. Look at all the money we got. We don't need crazy stats, we just need people in the park. Oh, and uh, we have vandalism again. 
With all this money, I'm going to hire more of these guys, and maybe... Yep, we need more mechanics. My goodness, this is crowded. Come on, come on out here, guys. Why are you all clustering at the front of the park? Oh, it's because of the four, the four-way path thing there. Watch this. If I'm, I'm gonna place this. It's gonna immediately fix it. Bop. Well, maybe not immediately. These guys are gonna walk over here and turn around first. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I fixed it. This park could do with more balloon stalls. So let's make some yellow balloons. And some green balloons. Are we selling green balloons already? I can't remember. Let's add another, uh, another one over here. And this one will sell orange balloons. And one more over here to sell pink balloons. Although we could sell purple ones too. So let's make another stall. And make these ones purple. Maybe a light purple. Now let's go with a darker purple. Cool. Maybe we shouldn't worry so much about making, about avoiding the stat penalties, because we do have intense rides in the park. Let's just build some more gentle rides. Softer rides. You know. For the kids. So let's build a wooden roller coaster out here. A very... Uh, a very mellow, a very gentle wooden roller coaster. Now let's make it a little taller. Let's make an island right here. Uh oh. I have to edit the water. That's annoying. Okay. And yep, we need to raise the land more. I think the minimum drop height on a wooden roller coaster is 45 feet. I, uh, might be, I might be wrong about that. Correct me in the comments. Actually, no, I'm curious. Let's bring this down, bring it back to the station, and see what the minimum drop height is. You know, this could be a legitimate ride, honestly. Just a single drop. And... Test... Okay, that was... The height on that was... Uh, 35 to 10, so that's a 25 foot drop. Yep, that's an ugly stat penalty. Oh my goodness, look at all these ducks. Okay then, well. Whatever the case, we need to change this a lot. So let's make this a little taller. Maybe 45 is the minimum. We'll have like a volcanic island here. So 45. Here we go. This is fun. And maybe uh, another volcanic vent underwater. Here's a fun little piece of trivia. The big island in Hawaii is the youngest island. And the reason is because the, the uh, Pacific Plate is drifting over a hot spot, poking up through the crust. And as the plate moves, the hot spot doesn't move. So the smaller islands, maybe they were originally a similar size to the big island and erosion over eons of time has chipped away and worn them down. Or perhaps 
It's just that they were never that big to begin with. Maybe the movement of the tectonic plate has slowed down? I don't know. What's in the way? Oh no, the bobsled coaster's in the way. Darn it. Um, let's do this over here. And I suspect the bobsled coaster's still in the way. No! Okay. Let's make this a smaller thing. A smaller, uh, what do you call this? Never mind. Water splash. We have to change the land for this too? What? Or does it that it has to be... Oh! Okay. So maybe if we go from here... Water splash. There we go. Get a photo of all your little wet faces. Because that's funny. Okay. What a very pathetically simple... Oh no, there's another requirement. There's a length requirement. I forgot. Okay. Well, we got the height requirement sorted out. Now we just have to drag this out and make it longer. Uh-oh, we're almost at the end of year, year three. But we have 2,000 guests, so that's not a big deal. Uh-oh, bring this back. Maybe this is another island of the Hawaiian Islands. I was afraid of that. Maybe if I do like this. Oh, look at that. Like a boss. And can I turn like this? Oh, nice! Although I should probably... I should probably curve that, though. Water splat. No... Uh, water splash. Oh, it's too tall. Uh, first, come on down. Actually, no, because we're, we're, we have to fit an S-bend in this somewhere. Um, okay, from here, straighten out. S-bend, wrong way. S-bend right. Water splash photo of all your wet faces and the bobsled coaster is in the way what the heck let's try it like this no 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 water splash oh for goodness sake maybe we should just give up on the water splash or do it over here there we go but now we're in the way of our station. Can I do this? Let's see if I can pull this off. Whoops. Uh. Aha! I can! Oops, I'm clicking the wrong thing. I get so confused. I'm so used to this being over here. Okay, well, I don't like this support structure, so let's change that. Too, fall, uh, too tall for supports, of course, as always. Change that one. Boom. Okay, that's all connected up. And this still doesn't work. Gosh dang it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just take the whole spot out and put it here instead oops go down to zero okay there we go now we're lined up so we don't need the s bend we might still be in the way of the bobsled coaster though
Oh, now I need to expand the other way. Okay, we figured it out. Perfect. And now with the lift hill speed turned up all the way, oh, it already is. Let's test it. So it's a bit longer. It only has one train, but that's okay. It just means we'll have more people in line for longer, which keeps them off the path, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's build some scenery while we're thinking about it. Some benches. Oh, look at that. Not bad at all. Wow. Very good. I suspect we may have to use more micro coasters to for this last stretch. We only have one more year before the scenario ends. So uh I will think about it. We still have a year to figure that out. So I think we'll just we might be able to pull it off with just more regular roller coasters. But since I already started making the micro coasters, it's easy to just keep making them, you know? <laughs> it's like after the first one, it's easy to keep doing it. I'll have to go to Micro Coasters Anonymous to get me off of it. <clears throat> okay, that's benches and trash cans all over the area we expanded to. And we filled most of it already with rides. Look at all this unused space we have. I may end up just not using it because it's kind of frustrating to use. Let's build more flat rides. You know, instead of spamming micro coasters, we can just spam flat rides. It might be slower and less effective, but it still works. You just need more of them. So that's another twist. I don't remember. Can we build magic carpets? I think magic carpet is a new ride. Yeah, we can't build it. That's too bad. A flat or a completely unusable ride. Oh, we have a launched roller coaster. Where is it? Aha. And with this, let's launch this through some corkscrews and not get too tall. Do we have large corkscrews? Oh, it's too big. Am I going to hit this? I was afraid of that. Okay, let's go over it. And we can't do that either. Okay. Oh, I have an idea. Let's go up to 10 feet. Barrel roll left. Not that. No, 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 no. Oh, it's too tall. Darn it. Let's do this. And, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> This is also too tall. Half corkscrew right. There we go. And with a little S-band trick and a photo section which I forgot, we should be set. Oh no, no, I can't do that. Darn it. Let's put brakes here. Then S-band. Then do this. Oh, I don't have room for a photo section. That's too bad. I have to finagle it. Let's put it here. And we have to do this again. Do I get boosters on this ride? I do not. I guess that makes sense. Okay, and with inversions, I think we bypass the drop requirement, so let's see what this does. Oops, I need an entrance first. <clears throat> Fire away! Woo! It takes us a little bit fast. That might be a little rough. I'd probably have to turn the launch speed down. Oh no, that's alright. The excitement rating's nothing to be proud of, but it's good enough. 
Let's have another info kiosk over here for all these poor souls who don't have umbrellas. Let's make these yellow. All right, and with this, this ride is open for business. And we're still kind of stuck here around 2,000-ish guests. And we are already in year four, so that's a problem. I don't know if there's a minimum drop height for this, but I'm going to build it anyway. Oh, no, I can't build. I don't have room anywhere because it doesn't have access to tight turns. Shoot. Okay. Let's go with, uh, where is it? Give me a corkscrew. Cheeky cheesy moneymaker. Where can I put this? Aha! I put it there. Okay, it looks like I have to change the land a bit. That's expensive. But hey, I have over $100,000, so no big problem. Oops, not custom. Uh... There we go. Let's put one... Actually, I wonder if we can do this. Put them side by side. Like that, there's one. And if we synchronize this with an adjacent one, that might improve the excitement rating. So let's mirror one up. And put it right there. Same deal. Although I forgot to, uh, I forgot to build a path. Synchronize with adjacent stations. So that's another 200 guests, 200 or so. Let's change the colors. Let's make this more interesting. Let's make this one yellow, yellow and blue. I'll make this one red and green. Boom. And this one's trains can be blue. Very nice. Cheeky custom money maker. Where else can I put this? Do I have room here? Oh, I do. Look at that. Let's put one here. We'll make this one pink. Oh, no. I like purple. Let's make it purple. With yellow supports. Open for business. And we'll make the train pink. Pink and yellow. And let's mirror that on the other side with something similar. Oh, no, no, no. Not custom. Something similar. Yeah, I like that. Let's make this one white. With red supports. So that right there is is 400 additional guests. Oh no, what's the red arrow for? That's frustrating. But anyway, hopefully we'll be able to salvage this and still win before the end of the... Oh my goodness. Where's my calendar? Before the end... That's not my calendar. Where's my calendar? Oh, my calendar's under my financial summary. Heh <laughs> heh. So let's see, wrap. We're in March. We are almost at the end of March. So then we have uh, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So we have seven months to figure this out. And we seem to be stuck at 2,100-ish, even with even though I built these. Yeah, we have a lot of people leaving, even, even as more come in. And we can't advertise. Yeah, a lot of people are leaving. Good heavens! Ah, uh, I'm in... Okay. It's time to panic mode. Panic mode! We need to build more rides. Oh, this is neat. Let's do this. 
knock that down. And oh no, come back. Ah, oh, it closed itself. Mirror that, and boom! Let's change these colors. Let's go for green. Green and orange. That's funky. So that's another hundred we're attracting to the park. I think it's a hundred. I know that the uh, wooden roller coaster is 105, and I think corkscrew roller coasters are each worth a hundred guests to the soft guest cap. And our park rating is maxed out, so that should not be a hindrance to us. Yeah, I guess we just let them organically generate, but we're still... Yeah, our part... We have less guests now. What the heck? This is not good. Um... Hmm. <laughs> For the sake of variety, let's get some more of these. But first, let's save it. What kinds of trains do I have? Okay, just the normal ones. Let's go for a purple track, yellow supports, and orange cars with red lap restraints, or shoulder restraints. Oh, no, no, not red. Let's go... Eh, that's kind of funky, but I like it. Save track design. New file. We'll call this the lowercase slightly less cheeky cheesy money maker. <laughs> okay. Let's let's build some of those. Where is it? Here it is. The slightly less cheeky cheesy money maker. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I think I have room to do it right here. Almost. If I flatten this first. That should do it. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is hilarious. Oh, but it's the same color as the original. Um, let's invert it, make these yellow with purple supports. And we'll leave the train. Actually, no, that's that's disturbing. Let's make this uh, dark maroon and pink. Not pink. Uh, green. No, that works. It's kind of weird, but it works. And right here, let's make some dueling coasters. Dueling as in the bet. Well, they're not really dueling coasters. Hardly. Cheeky dueling coasters. Synchronize with adjacent stations. And open. Open. Oops, this one is still closed. Open. There we go. <clears throat> Bop. Can't find the entrance. I just built the entrance. What are you talking about? Let's make this one frosty whitish with blue supports and give it a white train with red highlights. Okay, red highlights and yellow restraints, that's cool. And make this one a deep sea blue with kelp for supports. And uh, that's fine, I'll leave those as what they are. Oops. Yeah, our guests are just disappearing. Maybe they know that I'm cheating with micro coasters. <laughs> so he had 80. I need to see if Marcel was, was wrong. Maybe some guests are turning away because they don't have $60 in the pocket. Or I could do the really cheeky thing and put a no, a no entry sign on the exit so people can't leave. <laughs> yeah, everyone's leaving. This does not look good. This looks bad. We are almost halfway through year four. He had exactly 60. He had 80. My goodness. He had 90. Wow. I wonder if the park entrance ticket price affects the rate at which people generate. 
Time for money! Oh, I just realized people leave when they run out of money. So I should probably build a cash machine so people stay in the park. Do I have access to the cash machine? Oh, yes. Let's put one right here. Let's put one near the entrance. And I just realized I only have one bathroom in the whole park. That might be why people are leaving. Let's build more. Oops. Ah, oh, we can build another one of these. Build this over here. Let's build bathrooms and stop charging for them. Because I don't want to drive people out of the park. Free. I have enough money. Can you imagine? Losing. Like, you're doing so well, you have all this money, and you still lose. That's why this is hard. I was mouthing off earlier that, oh, this isn't so hard. It is. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried. I might not win. I might have to redo this entire scenario. Uh-oh. That's vandalism. Let's fix that. Uh-oh. There's more vandalism. Space rings has broken down. Do we need more of these guys? Yep, we need more of them. And... Okay, how are we doing? We're still making a pretty solid income. About 12,000 plus per month. Oh wow, we made 22,000 in August. So we have a pretty solid income. It's just we have so many people leaving the park that it's not a... It's, uh... Yeah, look. It's like a one-for-one one ratio. Let's put another one of these at the entrance. That might. Oh no, I already have it there. Whoops. Let's put one over here. Let's put some popcorn over here. This popcorn's tasty. And we'll leave it at the default price, so there's more satisfaction. Get some coffee. I think coffee has no effect on guests other than as a drink. I don't think it improves energy or anything, but I wonder if the devs for OpenRCT2 could make some adjustments that would make the, make guests more hyper so they have more energy, but they're more likely to turn into vandals. <laughs> that would be a fun little, a fun little trade-off, I think. Let's do something that doesn't require any drops at all. Let's do river rafts somewhere we have room for it. Uh, we don't have room for it anywhere, actually. No! Maybe rafts that go underground. Do I have any access points? Aha! Here we go. So let's go... Let's go underground. No! More vandalism! No! Keep seeing it and freaking out. Okay. River rafts, come back. I need to see what height I'm working with. It's to zero. There. No, no, it's negative 20. No, 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 no. There we go. This will be a grand tour of the deep dark of the underworld. Oh, no. There's a wooden roller coaster in the way. Okay, fine. Let's see if we can go over it. Oh, look at that. We went over it. Perfect. Maybe here? Okay, and a small, a small length like this gives us how many... Well, first of all, let's put the entrance here. Oh! I can't. I gotta raise the land first. <laughs> Where, where is it? Here? Aha, right there. Okay. So let's raise this. I'm going to put the entrance there. There we go. Oh, these are fancy. That's cute. And that's a little canopy on it. Okay, well now we got to build a path to it. Uh-oh, it's payday again. Sweet!
Actually, let's just do this. There we go. Not much of a queue line, but whatever. We get how many rafts? Eight. Oh no, we get more. Let's turn the wait time off and boom! Open for business. Yeah, our guest situation is not changing at all. We're just losing everybody. My goodness. Let's try to fix that with more rides! <laughs> I'm scared. We're gonna lose. This is not good. Not good at all. Bad news, Bilbo Baggins. Where I don't have room for this. Okay, so I've used up pretty much all the flat space except out over the water. And I think over the water this is too tall. Yeah, that's too tall. So let's do something different. Maybe go-karts. This will be fun. Okay. Oops, not scenery. Paths. And open! Now I'm perplexed. Okay, so we seem to have an influx of guests again. Just barely. Or no, that was just a momentary burst. Man, we are going to lose. We are halfway through the month, or through the year. What the heck? Maybe there's a limit to how many of a single roller coaster type you can use before you stop getting the, oops, the soft cap bonus. Maybe uh, I should spam more of these. Oh, not custom. Let's go the slightly less cheeky, cheesy moneymaker. Because what a name. Okay, that's a lot of money, rest in peace, and back to this. Let's build one there, and open. That should attract another hundred or so. Well, so did the last five micro coasters we built, and they didn't. What the heck? We're still losing guests. Oh no! We plateaued right here, now we've been on a steady decline ever since. This is not good. Not good at all. Come on. Come on. Help me! Oh, that guy's mad. So is that guy. Okay, there's probably a problem in the park that's making people leave. I need to go to the bathroom. It seems to be the top thought in the park. I'm going to laugh so hard if the solution is simply that we need more bathrooms. But that seems to be the top thought in the park. So this might completely solve our problem. Just spamming bathrooms around. Oh yeah, it looks like... Oh look, we got four more guests. Yay! <laughs> or rather, we didn't lose four guests while new ones came. Okay, let's have some more food options out here too. Let's get candy apples, leave those at the default price, and maybe more dr Oh, ice cream. I love ice cream. Because we can paint them! Let's paint them something disgusting. <laughs> something that we'll never see. Some iced tea, more drinks, drinkses. Oh yeah, look at that. We're getting more people into the park. Seafood seems fitting out in this water area. Yeah, I don't know if the problem was... Uh-oh, that's a lot of vandalism. I don't know if the problem was the bathrooms or the food options. But whatever the problem was, it seems to be going away. Rather quickly, too. Nice. And we have a lot of vandalism. My goodness. I just fixed these. Hold on. There's a vandal walking through there, isn't there? And I can't, uh, cuts off, I can't see them all.
Yeah, I, I can't tell if there's a vandal, but if there is, oh my goodness. We have enough money, we might be able to afford security guards, which are normally not good to hire, because it's just a waste of money. But we need to curb this... Oh, there we go. We seriously need to curb this vandalism. And we should curb the source of the vandalism, which is vomit. And with that, we're about to get back into the 2100s. I think we have enough rides to meet the soft guest cap requirement to have more than 2,500 people. We're just losing so many people that we're not getting up to our potential here. And we're losing them because of problems in the park. So let's troubleshoot. It's too crowded here. I need to build more paths. Let's do that. Oops, wrong tab. Let's go for redundant paths. <laughs> redundant little loops that get people off the main path. Can I go under that? I cannot, that's too bad. But I could go underwater. And that's funky. Oh, look at that. We went under the water. Under we went, we went underwater to go around this. That's neat. And what where else can we build paths? Let's build paths out into the mountains just as a nice little scenic walk. Very pretty. Let's do it right here. This is our nature trail. Where you get to watch the roller coaster dive underground. This could cause people to get lost though, so this may come this may bite us. This could also give us access to more space where we could build more flat rides. Or more roller coasters for that matter. And I'm stuck now. I wonder if I can build over this or if I'm too tall. Oh, I can. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Come around right behind the merry-go-round. And touchdown. Boom! So I have a big loop of empty space. Let's put some benches on it while I'm thinking about it. Benches on the flat places, trash cans on the stairs. Okay. Yeah, our guest count is still going up, but we're creeping up on that deadline. And uh, this right here is starting to get really tempting. <laughs> Having a no, it, no entry sign on the exit. But that's cheating. I don't want to do that. It's bad enough that I'm building micro coasters. Let's build some flat rides out here. Come here. Yellow. Uh oh. Oh no, I built this in a bad place. Okay, let's turn this off and break this. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So now we can open this. So that's another 60 or so people. And I think I can build this if I build it along the slope. Yep, I can do it. Perfect. Beautiful. Fancy. Alright. So that's another 60 or so. And we can build another one of these. 
and sneak it right in here, I think. Bop. Open that up. We almost have 2,200, so we need 3,000... No, 3,000. 300 more guests to win. And, uh... And we're in June, so July, August, September, October. We have four months to get 300 guests. Eee! We're gonna lose! No! This does not look good. Uh, uh, more micro coasters. Yeah, let's build more micro coasters. Cheesy cheeky moneymaker. Let's put one here, here. Right there. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's not where I thought it was at all. <laughs> okay. Oops, not like that. Okay. Let's open that one. What a mess out here. This does not look good at all. <laughs> Do I have room for one of these? Slightly less cheeky, cheesy moneymakers. Oh, that name is hilarious. Oh, I have room for one here. What if I flip it? Okay. Oh, no, I flipped it the wrong way. No! Let's try this again. Oh, it was right the first time. What was I doing? Oh, my goodness. What a mess. Okay, so open that one. Let's build some stalls out here. Let's build a cash machine so people don't decide to leave when they run out of money. Right there. A bathroom. And some food options. I don't think I built pretzels yet, so we'll build some pretzels. Leave that at the default price. Funnel cakes. Right there, and some drinks. Drinks is precious. What's drinks is, eh? High fructose corn syrup and caramel color. That's drinks is precious. Ooh, sunglasses. Souvenirs, let's leave those at the default, because why not? Balloons! Uh-oh, can't put those there. Maybe there. And we'll leave those as light blue. Or no, we don't have any dark blue balloons. A lot of things just broke down. Oh wow, we're getting our guests quick. That's good. What else do we not have? Maybe I didn't count right all these rides. Maybe we just need to build more. Yeah, I think we just need to build more flat rides. So let's build out here. Give ourselves more space to work with. Okay, now I have to somehow connect this. And I suspect this roller coaster is going to be in the way. Okay. Can I sneak under? Oh, yes, I can go under it. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a huge loop to fill with more rides. Oh, and all this flat space I forgot about. That's where the old chairlift was. Okay, let's not do escape hatch. Actually, no, these draw a lot of people to the park, so let's build this underground. Oh, we can make this go way down there, because it's the mountains. Nah, that'll take too much time. We're racing against the clock. We'll make this the little happy fun zone.
Now, can I connect this? Or do I have to change the level? Still not lined up. There we go. That was a lot of money wasted. <laughs> so another pirate ship. Let's give a top spin. Let's put a top spin right here. Boom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't, no, don't open it. Berserk mode. Woo. Let's get one of our handymen to be in charge of only this area. Oops, come back. Uh, oh, get out of the queue line. What are you doing in there? Okay. So he will help curb the vomit that this, this will produce. Okay, now we have 2,320, so we're on the right track. Let's get a twist. Maybe right here. Open that for business. Why are they all the same color? I thought there was more default colors. Let's try red and yellow. Red and purple. Nah. Red and white. Ah, oh, that's cool. Let's get a 3D cinema. Come watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl, which bombed horribly in theaters. <laughs> As a kid, I thought it was cool. Looking back, I'm like, yeah, I know why it failed. <laughs> they were terrible. Uh, no, no offense to fans out there. It was a cool, cool concept. Just not, you know. And this area needs music. I think I'll leave that alone. Baby blue is cute. 2,343. So that's progress. What else can we build up here? Here we go. What a funky color. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's weird. They must have changed some of the default colors when they updated, when the, yeah. In this developer update, uh, build thing, whatever it is. Anyway, more rides. Let's build a super speedy Woody. Right over here. And with that, we certainly made the minimum drop height. From 115 to 90, that should be easy. And this is not. No, don't rename it. Or not rename, don't, uh, what am I saying? Bop. Bop times two. Okay, let's catch the train with chains and bring it back to the station. With chains. With a little mini drop at the end, I guess. Mm. 
Never mind, I can't do that. <laughs> I just spent all that money for nothing. I could go to 120 and do a Helix, though. That's kind of a drop, but not really. How many trains do I get with this? This is one train. If I do this, does that give me two trains? Nah, still one train. Oh, well. Well, now we could get two trains. Let's make that longer. Yay, two trains. Okay. So this looks really weird, but I think it'll make money. <laughs> Fire away! See what it does. Okay, so the trains make it back just fine. That's good. Good stats. All right. So this is another 100 guests. 105 guests, actually. Oh, look at that. We are making it. It's August. We have one more month, but we are just shy of 2,500. So let's build a few more flat rides just to tip us over the edge, and I think we'll survive. All that worrying. Everything will be fine. And since it's crowded, let's make a long queue line. Ho, ho, ho! Because these uh, little simulators always take forever. Get in line, folks! And to keep them happy, it'll be this. Okay, we need uh, 47 more people. I feel sick seems to be the, big, the most common thought, and the second one is this park is really clean and tidy. So I think we're okay. Because the sick thing, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. They can go into first aid rooms. They can sit down. But that's all we can really do. It's not things that we have a lot of control over. So I think we're in a good place. We just need to survive long enough. Well, not long enough. Survive fast enough, I guess you, said, you could say. <laughs> that's, a, that's an odd expression. We have one month and then it's game over. So let's see if we can pull through and somehow manage to survive. Let's get some food. We don't have sub sandwiches, so let's do that. Some people in the park are hungry. Let's get some ice cream up here. Boop. And more drinks. We have lemonade somewhere. Here we go. Okay, we need 34 more people. Ooh, fries! We don't have fries anywhere. Let's do some cheap fries. And donuts! I love donuts. Let's build these new stalls close to the old ones where they're more expensive, just so there's more options. Uh-oh, this broke down. Or no, not this. What broke down? The... Hold up. Oh, that's why it says. It's broken down. Why did it say I was waiting for passengers before? That's weird. I wonder how many people spiral slides attract. I imagine not very many. And it was fixed. Woo! Okay, that's another ride. We need 13 more guests to win. And then we have to hold on to them without losing them. So. Yeah, it's kind of sketchy, but I think I think we're going to win. Ooh, cotton candy. I don't have any of those. Bop. What other fun stuff do we not have built? I think I built all of these. Somewhere in the park we have one of each of these, at least. We have two of some of them. Let's build more hamburgers. I know I already have them, but let's just build extra. Bop. 
And let's bring the price of these down to the default. Actually, I don't remember what the default was. 150. It's like shopping at McDonald's with the McDonald's app. There's a fun color. There are a lot of balloons in the park, so this is going to be a really impressive, a really impressive balloon release when we win. Oh yeah, look at that, 2,500. We have one, assuming, oh, I was looking at August and saying we had one month left. I forgot about September. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we won. We just got to hold on to the guests as long as we can. And what better way to do that than building more rides? Do we have any of these we haven't built that we could build? Let's build a circus. Because this scenario really is a circus. <laughs> okay, circus. Right in there. And I goofed. Hold on. Looks like we have to build this off the ground. There we go. Silly me. I don't like these colors, though. Let's change orange to white. And red to maroon. I guess they're both maroon. I'm not sure. What do you call that rusty red color that's in the default game? Not this one. This is something else. Man, we're still making money, despite all as much as we're trying to spend it all. Let's see, what have we not built in roller coasters? We don't have a vertical drop coaster. So let's build one of those over here. Oh, that looks rough. Woo! <laughs> Can you imagine riding something like that? That'd be terrifying. What's in the way here? Let's helix this up. That might be one prop. Well, yeah, what my problem was. So from 105 to 80, that's a 25 foot difference. I think this should be safe. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay, we have a 10 foot difference. That means we can build our stations right there. Yeah, these aren't, don't even look good anymore. They're just, <laughs> this is my desperate attempt to keep people in the park. But I've never beat this scenario before. I think I failed to say that. Not only did I never really play this scenario as a kid, because it was too complicated and too complex, but even in my more recent years starting to play this game again, I have never beat this scenario before. So when I win, that'll be a first. So maybe if I do a replay, I was thinking of, instead of just going straight to RCT1, or maybe after I play through all the scenarios in RCT1, I could replay all of these scenarios in RCT2. Or maybe I do all the scenarios in RCT1, then do everything in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, then do the expansions for both games, and once I've done that, then I can replay all the all the scenarios and see how see how much better I do. Or buy Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and embarrass myself trying to figure out how to play that game. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I have seen some people recommend Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um, 
So I, I think I might, I, I'll probably end up doing that at some time in the future. But how soon that is, I guess, depends on popular opinion. Popular demand is the correct term, I guess. Stats, please. Okay, we have a rather comfortable buffer. Oh, goodness, these are terrible stats. <laughs> Whatever. We have a pretty comfortable buffer. We have 657 or 157 extra people in the park. So, I don't think we need to worry anymore. We have exactly one month left. Okay, we are now in October, and we have plenty of guests to win. So let's speed it up and just let it play out. Let's mow the grass while we have a chance here. While we still have time. Two more days! And... Three... Two... One... Booyah! Oh, I timed that horribly wrong. <laughs> okay. There we go! Victory! Woo! And as I said, this is the first time I've ever beaten this scenario, so I have to put my name in. Wow, that was... That was really hard. I was getting stressed out because I'd have not only would I fail, but I'd probably have to re-record everything if I failed to win. Look at all the balloons. Anyway, that was fun. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, do consider liking the video and subscribe. I definitely plan to make more of these, so if you enjoy them, be sure to subscribe so you know when the next one comes out. And I just said subscribe twice. <laughs> Oops. Uh, maybe that means, uh, hopefully you're twice as interested in subscribing? I don't know. What am I saying? Whatever the case, uh, have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.